Hey there guys, Neil here, back with a feature review. So for today's review, I wanted to show how you can easily access your weather settings in the Google Search app via Action Launcher. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure you're on the beta channel for Action Launcher version three. Um, and then once you're on at least beta uh, one, you'll be able to do a, or create a shortcut in two ways to access the weather um, or do a weather search and you see the new cars that Google put into the search app itself. So um, the easiest thing to know if you're what version of you're on is to go into um, the action launcher settings and touch a version number. Um, so as you can see, I'm on version 3.8.0 beta 2. The, fe the, short the weather shortcut feature was introduced in beta 1. So as long as you're on that version or newer, you're good to go. Uh, from here, what you're going to do is make sure, or the first way to make create the shortcut is to mm -hmm. first make sure your quick bar is enabled. Um, I have that weather shortcut created, so I'll remove it for now. But once you have your uh, quick bar enabled, so any one of these will do. I have uh, the Action Launcher Custom set up because I have a couple of other shortcuts going on. Mm -hmm. But once you have that enabled, you'll hit the plus sign and then touch Custom. You'll swipe on over to the Action Launcher Shortcuts and swipe all the way to the bottom. Here you'll see an entry for weather, so when you touch that, it adds an option for weather. With the sun icon, you can change the icon if you wish to something else. So if you want a cloud or some other icon that is more um, preferable to you, you can do that. From here, when you go to your home screen, you now have an icon for that weather shortcut. So touching that icon will launch a weather search in the Google uh, search app or Google now if you have that available. Um, it'll do a quick location check to get your current location and um, that's pretty much all there is. You now can access your weather information. So swiping, so you get your current temperature, what the high and low is, date and time, what the current uh, weather condition is. You can swipe up and get your hourly data and you can swipe over to see it over time. Uh, you can get your current additional information, so pressure, dew points, things like that, if there's any wind, um, the air quality, how good or bad it is, how close um, the location information is to where you are, your sunrise, sunset. If you wanna get your um, forecast for the next day, you can do that as well. You can scroll on over to see the more information and the um, wind information as well. And then a 10 day forecast um, as well. So you have that information there. So that's pretty much it for that so you get quick access to everything just by a quick mm -hmm. shortcut in the um your quick bar but let's say you're not using the quick bar and you don't want to use it and you want another way to access the weather you can also mm -hmm. access it via um uh, swipe gesture so that's another feature that's already built mm -hmm. into action launcher so what you'll do is when you go into settings you'll scroll down to shortcuts and you can see i already have it set up so when I swipe my finger up on the home screen uh, with a single finger, um, I can access the weather information in the same way. And it's accessed in the same way as creating a shortcut in the quick bar. So um, there's no real change in that procedure. It's just a matter of how you get to it. So I'll exit back out. I'll do a swipe up. And there you go. It's launched the weather. It gets that current location, time, date, all the same stuff we just saw. So, um, pretty nifty way of doing that um, as you can see I already have a weather widget set up on my home screen it's a Google news and weather widget um, but it doesn't really have as uh, quick access to that weather information that I want I have to um, poke around a little bit I have to click on it I have to click on more information and get to the weather information that way but by at using the uh, shortcut feature in action launcher I the additional weather information is just a swipe away so i do still have the at a glance temperature and forecast and all of that but if i want more i have that um, information at ease so that's all there is for that so if you have any questions comments concerns or anything like that you can always email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com or find me on twitter at patel n01 and of course in the show notes i'll have links to the to action launcher version 3 in google play as well as a link to the beta group for Action Launcher 3 if you uh, want to join the beta group and get access to the weather shortcut early. So that's all there is for that. So thanks for watching and listening and until next time.